number one question. People always ask me, what was it like coming out of high school? Second question, whatever happened to Ronnie Fields? Oh! Ronnie is one of those guys that will be talked about forever. He could dominate and do whatever it is he wanted to do on the court. 51 inch vertical. Ronnie Fields, you never knew when the excitement was coming. Everybody's just sitting on the edge of their seat waiting for this to happen. He made you look at him twice. Like, did you just do that? Like, some things to this day I still can't believe. All of a sudden, one of the top players, if not the top player in the country, Kevin Garnett, came into Chicago to build forces with Ronnie Field, and there was that belief that they're going to take over the city. Kevin Garnett will go down as the number one player in the world. Fields may not be far behind. That was a free ring circus. Cameras following you all over, people, women. These are high school kids. The best twosome in Illinois prep history. Ronnie Fields, Kevin Garnett. They expected him to do the same thing that I did. The Minnesota Timberwolves select Kevin Garnett from Farragut Academy in Chicago. Ronnie Fields was the best player in the country as a senior. And I'm sure he thought Dave was going to walk right into the NBA. He became so good, so big, that no one ever said no to Ronnie. When I would go through McDonald's, they wouldn't even take his money. It was living like an NBA player without the pay, but just focusing on basketball and dating women. Things came fast, you know, things came fast. I used to always say, man, you need to start like you're gonna crash and burn. He called me from the hospital and he was like, Ma, I've been in a car accident. He told me he could be paralyzed. And I just prayed to God. And then the next thing I heard was prep legend Ronnie Fields was arrested. It was like my world was falling apart. But I was determined to not give up. I don't know why he didn't get the opportunity, but Ronnie Fields, it's a crying shame that he did not play in the NBA because he was good enough. You can get in trouble in the NBA, but you gotta be in the NBA. If you get in trouble before you're in the NBA, then it's hard to get in the NBA. It still, at times, don't make any sense. I think going through what Ronnie Fields has gone through has made him look at maybe my story is bigger than basketball. Sometimes success is being able to bounce back from mistakes that you make. 